Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo VR. Today we will play Revenance and this is a horror adventure. We have uh, different quests and we have to capture demons and we have to find them and then to capture them and that we can do with uh, different cameras, UV light and all this stuff. Really nice. I will show you some scenes. As always, thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Open Money Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and Aerofly FS Flight Simulator. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay guys, welcome to the game. So this is the main menu, let's check out the options. We have some uh, different settings here. Movement direction, ta tablet grip mode, turn mode, turn angle on vignette. Then graphics, I made everything on ultra and some audio op options. Yeah, let's go. Profile one. Select with... No idea, I just go on. Hello mate, it's Jackson. Can you hear me okay? I have a new software update for your tablet to go over. Go ahead and grab the tablet from your left hip. To interact what? with the tablet, point at it with your right hand and a laser will appear. Aim so the laser and press the right trigger to select a button. Software update complete. <laughs> oh, that's what I... Snap, more turn, yeah, okay. Your apps work oh. the same way as any other tablet. You'll be able to find your to-do list on the notes app. If you want to change any settings, check the settings app. You can quit at any time using the quit app and save with the save app. To move around, use the left thumbstick. To rotate, move the thumbstick on the right control nice. left and right. Movement could be adjusted in the settings app. The heck is that? Data upload. Use the left control thumbstick to walk. Yeah, that's fine. What the heck? Now, how about something a bit more exciting? I've set up a new combat simulation for you to test out your tech and the camera. Place head over to the brain computer interface device and place it on your head to start the simulation. What? Oh, this one. Okay. Yeah, let's just the brain do the computer interface is the highlighted device on the table. Ha! Most of the apps are easy to use, but I'd recommend getting some practice in with the camera. To open the camera. Firstly, select the home button at the bottom of the tab. Take a picture by pressing the trigger on your main hand. Zoom in and out by using the other hand's thumbstick or trackpad. Ha ha ha! or aiming at the tablet. The icons on the right hand side of the screen toggle the flashlight, night vision and ultraviolet cameras. Some evidence, like fingerprints, are only visible through the UV camera. I've hidden some evidence within this simulation. Ah. Find it and we'll continue. Uh huh. Here we go. Evidence. Oh, we, I, we have to take a picture. Nice work. Ha! But don't expect evidence in the field to be that easy to find. Your camera is the best way to keep the demons at bay. By picturing them, you'll manifest them further. Until you can eventually capture them. Hey, nice. If you manage to capture the demon at a crime scene, you'll be able to investigate further without worrying about demonic attacks or attempted possessions. Make sure the demon is in the center of the screen and the program ritual will activate and charge. Then, press the trigger to further manifest the demon. I already did that. Picture the hologram with a focus shot to continue. Okay, we have to do it. As long as the pentacam is charged, the demon will be phased away by the camera. The pentacam is fired up after picturing a demon. The more pictures you take, the more ritual runes will activate. This increases the power of the camera. If you're not quick enough, it'll lose its energy. The fuck is that? Good shooting, Tex. If you want to get fancy with it, you can earn even more points by taking selfies and close-up shots. You'll need to use your other tech to help locate, trap, and fight the demons you'll encounter. The electromagnetic cube is a proximity sensor that detects anomalies in the hmm. electromagnetic field. 
it will pick up nearby demon activity in a 360 degree radius. Uh huh. The EMC will beep faster the closer the anomaly is to the cube. Another more traditional sensor is the CCTV camera. These require setting up around the crime scene at locations of your choice. The live feed can then be accessed through your CCTV app. Her on nice. The I'll also keep an eye on the camera feeds whilst you're in the field and let you know if I hmm. spot anything. Put that here. You no. can set up traps such as the Tesla gate around the crime scene. The individual Tesla coils need to be placed in line of sight of one another. These will then activate and stun any demonic entity detected between the coils. Cool. There are also weapons to help you fight demons. The ion flashbang is a carefully charged stun grenade. It emits a harmful light that will stop demons in their tracks, slowing them and making them more vulnerable. You'll want to use your tech holsters to take a few pieces of gear whenever you leave the safe room. Grab some store a gear. piece of tech, grab it and move it towards one of your holsters. Grab a piece of equipment and store it in a tech holster to continue. You might have a hard time finding some pieces of evidence, mm. so I've upgraded your mask with UV capabilities. Cool. The mask will protect you, but it'll only take a few hits before breaking. To activate the mask, tap the right hand side of your head and press the right trigger. I'll cool. spawn a hologram into the simulation so you can test out the tech. You can change the hologram's behavior using the sim app on your tablet. When you're ready to leave, select the basement from the exit app on the tablet. Basement? Oops. Ha! Great, that's the basics covered. And we now? have a new case involving a missing girl. Thing is, she hasn't been seen since 1997. I'd suggest reading up on the case files in your files app. Okay. Yeah. You'll want to choose three pieces of equipment and place what them the? on your backpack before starting the case. Three pieces, okay. Backpack? I don't have... Do we have... Hey, <laughs> nice! Uh, okay, uh, what was that? I don't know. Let's just... Uh, files? There, there it is. You can fight them on the ground. And now... The heck? You'll want to choose three pieces of equipment and place them on your backpack before starting the case. Where the fuck is my backpack? Oh, this one. I have no idea where to put that stuff. Here? No. So, uh, I have no idea where to put that stuff. What is that? Can we just go here? No. Um... Yeah, so what what can we do now with that stuff? You'll want to choose three pieces of equipment and place yeah, them on your backpack you. How? before starting the case. God damn it, I can only put two of that stuff in my fucking... What the heck? Like this? So there... It doesn't work, there are only two slots. So what the fuck is wrong with it? So... 
I hope that You'll want to choose three pieces of equipment. What? Place them on your backpack before starting the case. Where's my fucking backpack? Huh? Perhaps the backpack is an app? No. Yeah, guys, so I think that uh, should be more clear where the fuck is my bed backpack is. So it's obviously not here. <sighs> Crazy. Oh my god, why? You'll want to choose three pieces of equipment and place them on your backpack before place starting Place them on your case. backpack. Fuck you. There is no backpack. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Fuck, here's the backpack. Oh, my God. That's the backpack. So, where? Oh. Here we go. And now? Can we go now? Approach the case board and press travel when you're ready to begin the investigation. Oh, here! My god, this sucks! Welcome to Spirit and Mind Academy. Your first goal should be to find the safe room in the headmaster's office. You'll be able to gear up there. The safe room is located behind the lobby and reception area. So this is, uh... Crazy. Okay. He's going so slow. Oh my god. Why? I can hear something. Uh That looks spooky. Hello? Your first goal should be to find the safe room in the headmaster's office. The safe room is located behind the lobby and reception area. Uh, we need some... Cool. So this is really dark. Ah, okay. Better. Uh, office, yeah. Crazy game, isn't that? Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -da -da -dum. Canteen. Your first goal should be to find the safe room in the headmaster's office. The safe room is located behind the lobby and reception area. Behind the lobby and I think it's not here. What the? Ta-da-dum, ta-da-dum. 
Uh, I think it's like here, right? So here's the reception. I think it's this one. Yeah. I've laid out your chosen equipment on the tables in the safe room. You'll want to take a few pieces with you each time you journey out. I'd suggest checking your notes app as well and deciding how you want to tackle the case. You could search for evidence or track down the demon and try to capture it. Both of these will need completing in order to fully close the case. Good luck, investigator. If you need me, I'll be in the van. There is... Oh, I, I, I thought there's a time limit. So this game is really crazy. Um, so we have to walk around here, check everything. Hunt the demons. Looks very spooky. So I will play a little bit more on my German channel. Let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Revenance, guys. So I'm really sorry, but this is uh, too buggy. Yeah, um, it's just too... Uh, the environments also are not really cool. Everything looks the same. The graphics are really old. But the problem is the bugs. There are just some textures missing and then you will fall through the whole world. And that's... Uh, I, I, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it kills all the atmosphere and stuff. So uh, the, the idea is really cool to find uh, the demons and stuff, use uh, different uh, methods, uh, for example, with the UV light and all the stuff. But all in all, just I, I would wait for a big update for this game um, to, to fix all the bugs. So guys, I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.